Let's take a look now at applying the Vault HP Plus Integral system in order to deliver maximum benefit to your growers. As a reminder, the Vault HP Plus Integral system comes in two separate bladders and a bottle. The bladder with the brownish colored liquid contains the rhizobia inoculate. The yellow colored bladder contains the enhancer extender component and the plastic bottle in the package is the EPA registered integral biofungicide. Before you open the bladders or the bottle, give them all a good shake to ensure the contents are uniformly mixed. The products, especially the enhancer extender component, may have settled during shipping or storage. After that, mixing and application are simple. First, make sure that your soybean seed is not frozen. If you apply Vault HP to frozen seed, the liquid rhizobia inoculant can freeze to the seed on contact. Freezing while in this liquid state can rupture the rhizobia cell walls, and many may not survive. Frozen liquid on the seed is also a detriment to seed flow in treatment equipment. So for maximum on-seed survival and healthiest rhizobia, always let your seed thaw to above 32 degrees Fahrenheit prior to application. Then, in a clean mixing container or tank, pour the content of the two bladders, inoculant and enhancer extender. Then pour in the contents of the brown-colored bottle of liquid integral biofungicide. Thoroughly mix the complete contents of these components in the tank. Don't be concerned about getting every bit of yellow extender out of the bladder. These bladders are overfilled to compensate for some of the thicker liquid remaining in the bag. Some treaters find it easier to simply hold the bladder by one corner and use a box cutter or blade to slit the bottom bladder corner and give the bladder a quick squeeze. Frequent gentle agitation or continuous aeration throughout the mixing and application process will enhance rhizobia survival in the tank. Some treaters run a plastic hose from a small aquarium type aerator into the tank to easily accomplish this task. In the 2x200 packaging size of Vault HP Plus Integral, one complete set of components, one bladder of inoculant, one bladder of enhancer extender, and one bottle of Integral, will treat 10,000 pounds of seed or 250 pound units of seed with an average seed size of 3,000 seeds per pound. One complete set of components from the 2x100 packaging size will treat 5,000 pounds of soybean seed. One complete set of components from the 4x50 package size will treat 2,500 pounds of seed. So a full case 2x100 or 4x50 size will treat a total of 10,000 pounds. A full case of the 2x200 product will treat 20,000 pounds of seed. Vault HP is often applied with a polymer, such as Flowrite 1706 from Becker Underwood, to help keep all seed treatments on the seed and to allow the seed to flow through your treating equipment more easily with less bridging and through the farmer's equipment more efficiently and accurately. If you are applying Vault HP Plus Integral with other treatments, please remember a couple things. First, if you are applying any other treatments to the seed, make sure that those treatments are compatible with the rhizobia. Using a rhizobia-friendly treatment will allow your Vault HP to perform better and give your rhizobia longer on-seed survival time. Flowrite 1706 is specially formulated to be rhizobia-friendly. In addition to being rhizobia-friendly, make sure that the additional active chemical treatments, colorants, glosses, and seed polymers such as Flowrite 1706 are mixed in and applied from a separate tank. If the rhizobia are mixed in a tank with other additional treatments, even if those treatments are rhizobia friendly, life of the rhizobia will be diminished significantly. The application rate for the Vault HP Plus Integral is 2 fluid ounces per 100 pounds of soybean seed, or 0.96 fluid ounces per unit of seed package in 140,000 count seed bags. Once you've mixed the Vault HP inoculant, enhancer extender, and integral biofungicide in a tank, make sure that you apply the mixture to the seed within a 24-hour period. Once you've applied the Vault HP system to the soybean seed, it's always best to plant the seed as soon as possible to maximize rhizobia counts and effectiveness. 
However, seed treated with Vault HP is designed to deliver a minimum count of at least 100,000 rhizobia colony forming units per seed for up to 120 days after treatments when the treated seed is stored in proper conditions. If you're storing the seed for some time after treatment, please keep it at a cool temperature. Below 50 degrees is ideal. If the treated seed is stored at colder temperatures, even well below freezing, that's fine because after application, when dried on the seed, the rhizobia can survive the freezing temperatures that would have killed them in their liquid state in the bladder. Also keep the treated seed out of direct sunlight. Even if you're storing the seed at low temperature, direct exposure of the treated seed to the ultraviolet rays of the sun can kill rhizobia and reduce yield potential. So let's recap a few important things about working with your Vault HP. One, rhizobia are living organisms. They must have oxygen to survive. That's why the packaging and storage methods of your Vault HP are critically important. Two, because rhizobia are living creatures, they need a food source, particularly after the rhizobia have been placed on the seed and before the seed starts growing. During this period of reduced activity, they still need the nutrition and special preserving properties of the Vault HP Enhancer Extender component. 3. Rhizobia can't tolerate extreme temperatures, particularly when in the liquid state. Avoid allowing liquid inoculate to freeze before it's applied to seed. Avoid applying inoculate to frozen seed. Avoid leaving a case of inoculate in a closed vehicle on a warm day. Avoid exposing bags, boxes, or seed tenders to extended periods of sunlight on warm spring days. All of these conditions can cause a rapid decline in the number of live rhizobia. However, once the Vault HP is applied to the seed, keeping the seed at cold or even freezing temperatures can help improve on-seed survival of the rhizobia. 4. Remember that exposure to ultraviolet light can kill rhizobia. That's another reason why you never want to leave a seed tender completely uncovered and exposed to direct sunlight for extended periods of time. 5. Rhizobia are particularly sensitive to heavy metals like molybdenum, zinc, iron, and other metals that may be included in some micronutrient packages. While the actual amount of product applied per acre may be very low, the concentration of these metals on the seed in close proximity to the rhizobia in moist conditions can make this a deadly situation for the rhizobia. Finally, remember that all chemical seed treatment products are not the same. While the active ingredient may be the same for two different products, those products may have a vastly different effect on rhizobia and possibly other microbial plant health products. In other words, the inert ingredients are often not so inert when it comes to their effect on organisms such as living rhizobia. If you have additional questions about inoculants or how to apply them, or want more information, please contact your local Becker Underwood representative.